Hello nursing students, you are watching Scientific Medical Nursologist YouTube channel. Today's video is for BSc nursing students in which I am going to discuss about BSc nursing second year pharmacology question paper briefly with answers and solve this whole question papers right now okay. So you can see this is the story list question paper you won't get this question paper anywhere else as we always discuss RGHS question papers just after one hour of RGHS examination. So this is today's version question paper of 2023 so don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel to get all other subjects version question papers of february 2023 and you will also get most important questions for all the subjects of bsc nursing click the i button and get social subjects most important questions and all other subjects important questions if you have any doubts regarding rjhs and bsc nursing and any other medical related queries you can join my telegram channel where you can directly ask all of your queries i will try my level best to answer all of your queries okay you will also get short notes of this topic so watch the video till the end so that you will clear all of your doubts about these topics so, so this is pharmacology question paper for bsc nursing second year students of rg uhs which is of 38 marks in one and a half hours timing it is for rs2 rs3 rs4 rs5 batches and qp code is 1763 and the instructions are same as always like answer all the questions draw a diagram write specific answers so our pharmacology question paper consists of three parts in which first part is long essay which carries 10 marks and second part is short essay which carries 20 marks and third part is short answers which carries 8 marks so now let's discuss this question paper briefly with answers and solve this whole question papers right now okay so let's start the video so our first part is long essay which consists of single question that is first question classify anesthetics write the action and adverse effects of any one general anesthetics so for this question you need to write the answers like this so at first you need to classify the anesthetics on the different basis so i classify anesthetics that is first one local anesthetics second one general anesthetics that is first one inhalation second one intravenous so this is the classification of anesthetics you can see in the screen here so this is a flow chart of classification first of all you need to classify the anesthetics and you need to write actions and side effects of any one general anesthetics so i choose propofol which is general anesthetics so now let's discuss the propofol general anesthetics actions pharmacological actions and side effects of propofol general anesthetic pharmacological action of propofol that is general anesthetics in which includes first one propofol decreases a cerebral blood flow b intracranial pressure c cerebral metabolic rate for oxygen d decreases in bp due to peripheral vascular resistance due to vasodilation and second one pharmacological action is vasodilation is due to first one reduction in sympathetic activity second one effect on intracellular smooth muscles calcium mobilization third one reduction in angiotensin second elected calcium entry so our third pharmacological action is direct negative entropic effect so depression of cardiac contractility can be seen fourth one it does not alter sa or av node function in normal person fifth one baroreceptor reflexes may be depressed sixth one it decreases tidal volume and frequency of breathing seventh one is propofol can produce bronchodilation and decreases incidence of Introp wheezing in patient of asthma. Eighth one decrease in intraocular pressure. So now let's discuss the side effects of propofol, which includes first one apnea, second one decrease in RTL blood pressure, third one release of histamine and anaphylactic reactions. But this is rare. In most of the cases, it does not occur. Mostly in rare cases, it can be seen that histamine is released due to administrations of propofol. Fourth one pulmonary embolism. Fifth one, thrombophilipatis in injected vein. Fourth one, myoclonus. Fifth one, propofol infusion syndrome. And many more side effects. This is also rare but it can cause lethal in complication. I am just showing you to how to write these answers. So our next part is short essay which consists of three questions in which first one is name two broad spectrum antibiotics and write their uses and contraindications. So answer for this question includes writing two broad spectrum antibiotics which are first one tetracycline second one chloroaphenicol and the uses of tetracyclines are first one acacial infections second one or typical pneumonia due to mycoplasm pneumonia third one conera fourth one brosiliosis doxylene 200 mg plus remifilin 
सिक्स हंड्रेड एम जी डेली फॉर सिक्स आवर्स इज द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ ब्रेसिस विच इज द ड्रग विच कम्स इन द क्लास ऑफ टेट्रासाइक्लिन ड्रग्स फिफ्थ वन प्लेग टेट्रासाइक्लिन प्लस अमाइनो ग्लाइकोसाइड्स आर गिवन इन द प्लेग केसेस सिक्स वन एक्ने द बैक्टीरिया प्रोपियोनिन प्रेजेंट इन द सीवियोसिस पॉलिकुल्स कन्वर्ट्स लिपिड्स इन टू इरिटेटिंग प्री फैटी एसिड्स विच ट्रिगर्स द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एक्ने सो टेट्रासाइक्लिन इनिबिट दिस बैक्टीरिया दो डोसेस आर गिवन फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम दैट इज टू फिफ्टी एम जी बी डी फॉर फोर वीक्स सेवेंथ वन इज टॉपिकल टेट्रासाइक्लिन आर ऑल्सो यूज एज आई ड्रॉप्स विच आर यूज फॉर आई इन्फेक्शन एंड द साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ टेट्रासाइक्लिन इनक्लूड्स फर्स्ट ऑन एस्ट्रो इंटेस्टाइनल इफेक्ट्स विच इनक्लूड्स नोसिया वॉमिटिंग एंड सेकेंड वन इज हैपीटोटॉक्सिटी साइड इफेक्ट्स विच इनक्लूड्स जॉन्डिस एक्यूट एपेटिक न्यूक्रोसिस में अकर थर्ड वन इज रीनल टॉक्सिसिटी रीनल फीवर में अकर इन दर्डोस ऑफ टेट्रासाइक्लिन सो क्लोरोफिनिकोल इज ऑल्सो ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम एंटीबायोटिक होमोकोलॉजिकल एक्शन ऑफ दिस ड्रग आर फर्स्ट वन क्रिकेट सी एल इन्फेक्शन दिस ड्रग कैन यूज अल्टरनेटिव वेन टेट्रासाइक्लिन आर कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेट दिस ड्रग्स आर यूज टॉपिकली एज आई ड्रॉप्स एंड ऑइनमेंट बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स गुड पेनिट्रेशन इन टू एक्वियस ह्यूमर एंड एरोबिक इन्फेक्शन कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ क्लोरोफिनिकोल प्लस पेनिसलिन प्लस एन अमाइनो ग्लाइकोसाइड कैन बी यूज इन सीवियर एरोबिक इन्फेक्शन एज एन अल्टरनेटिव टू मेट्रोनिडोजोल एंड क्लाइंडिमिशिंग थर्ड वन इज बैक्टीरियल मेनेंजाइटिस इन मेनेंजोकोकोल एंड एच इनफ्लुएंजे मेनेंजाइटिस दिस ड्रग इज यूज एज अल्टरनेटिव टू पेनिसलिन वेरी एफेक्टिव इन टाइफोड दिस ड्रग इज गिवन फॉर फोर्टीन डेज दैट इज क्लोरोफिनिकोल विच इज अ ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम एंटीबायोटिक सो so now let's discuss about third question that is classify anti anginal drugs explain action and side effects of nitroglycerin so classification of anti anginal drugs includes first one nitrates example nitroglycerin second one calcium channel blockers example nifedipine third one beta blockers that is atenolol fourth one potassium channel blockers that is nicrodiniol so pharmacological actions of nitroglycerin includes first one reduction of preload nitrates are venodilators vasodilation reduces the venous return to the heart thereby reducing preload second one is reduction of afterload arteriol dilation reduces vascular resistance thus decreasing afterload as both preload and afterload are reduced workload of the heart is decreased thereby reducing oxygen requirement of the heart third one is coronary dilation nitrates are also bring about some coronary vasodilation there is a significant increase in coronary blood flow in a normal person but in the presence of atherosclerotic coronary artery disease the increase is not much other vasculature nitrates also cause dilation of blood vessels in the skin resulting in flushing dilation of the meningeal vessels results in headache other pharmacological actions on other smooth muscles includes nitrates relax the bronchial gastrointestinal and smooth muscles but the effect is for short period fourth one is next one is platelets nitric oxide form nitrates inhibits platelet aggregation through the actual extent of the beneficial effect of nitrates in a clinical setting is not known it may be particularly of help in the patients with unstable angina adverse effects of nitroglycerin includes first one headache flushing sweating palpitations weakness postural hypotension and rashes tolerance to vascular effects of nitrates develops on repeated long term use particularly when continuous high plasma nitrate levels are present by adopting proper dosing schedules tolerance can be avoided the patient must be free of nitrates for at least 6 hours of the day to prevent the development of the tolerance tolerance can also be minimized by twice daily dosing schedule so this is all about nitroglycerin and anti anginal drugs So our fourth question is what are pharmacological effects and side effects of anabolic steroids So anabolic steroids pharmacological effects includes first one catabolic states anabolic steroids may benefit patients following trauma and prolonged illness given during convalescence the negative nitrogen balance is corrected appetite improves and there is a feeling of well-being second one is senil osteoporosis seen in elderly males exposed by formation of newborn tissues third one growth stimulation in children anabolic steroids promote linear growth in prepuberty boys they may be used only for short periods but actual benefits on 
स्पाइरल आइट इज नॉट एस्टेब्लिश फोर तो अदर कोसेस एनोबोलिक स्टेरोइड्स आर ट्राइड इन क्रॉनिक क्रीनल फेल्यूर टू रिड्यूस नाइट्रोजन लोड ऑन द किडनीज दे मे बेनिफिट इन रिफैक्टरी एनिमेस विद बोन मैरो फेल्यूर फिफ्थ ऑन हैबिट्स इन एथलेटिक्स एनोबोलिक स्टेरोइड्स आर बिलीव टू इंप्रूव एथलेटिक परफॉर्मेंस व्हेन कंबाइंड विद एडवोकेट एक्सरसाइज द मसल मास इंक्रीजेस बट द डोज यूज्ड बाय एथलेटिक्स इज वेरी हाई एंड इज एसोसिएटेड विद सीरियस साइड इफेक्ट्स लाइक इंक्रीज्ड रिस्क ऑफ कोरोनरी हार्ट डिजीज इन बोथ सक्सेस मोर ओवर देयर इज नो एविडेंस दैट एथलेटिक परफॉर्मेंस इंप्रूव्स बाय द हेल्प ऑफ एनाबोलिक स्टेरॉइड्स एंड इज द यूज ऑफ एनाबोलिक स्टेरॉइड्स बाय एथलेटिक्स हैज बीन बैनड एंड इज मेडिकली नॉट रिकमेंडेड एंड द साइड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ दिस इंक्लूड्स फर्स्ट वन सीवियर एकिनी सेकंड वन एयर लॉस थर्ड वन हाई ब्लड प्रेशर फोर्थ वन ब्लड क्लॉट्स फिफ्थ वन हार्ट अटैक सिक्स्थ वन कोरोनरी हार्ट डिजीज सो आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एनलिस्ट्स द सोर्सेस ऑफ लर्निंग मेडिसिंस विद एग्जांपल्स सो आवर नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज शॉर्ट आंसर्स व्हिच इंक्लूड्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशंस सो द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशंस इंक्लूड्स फर्स्ट ऑन द राइट पेशेंट द राइट ड्रग द राइट डोज द राइट टाइम द राइट रूट ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन Seventh question, and our next question is mention any two each of the oxidizing agents and disinfectant. In that first one, hydrogen peroxide. Second one, benzoyl peroxide. Third one, chlorine. Fourth one, potassium permanganate. Eighth question is list the types of bronchodilators, which includes first one beta two agonist, second one anticholinergic, third one theophyllum. Ninth question is list any four. mineral preparations in which answer includes first one perosulfate magnesium sulfate sodium bicarbonate hydrogen peroxide and aluminum hydroxide so guys this is all about the discussion of the pharmacological question paper and the answers to the all of the questions of the question paper as we discussed and solved the pharmacological question paper so now let's begin to the pathology and genetics question paper to download this short notes click the link in the description so don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel to get first point question paper discussion just after finishing one hour of rgs examination second point important question for all subjects of bsc nursing third point and written notes for bsc nursing thanks for watching